I will come you to another series of our videos. A commuter train passes a passenger platform at a constant speed of 40.0 meters per second. The train horn is sounded at its characteristic frequency of 320.0 Hz. A. What frequency change? A. What overall change in frequency is detected by a person on the platform as the train moves from approaching to receding? B. What wavelength is detected by a person on the platform as the train approaches? Right, so to find the, the frequency by the observer as the train was approaching, we are going to use the equation frequency by the observer over velocity or the speed of sound in air plus the velocity of the observer is equal to frequency by the source over speed of sound in air minus velocity of the source. So, unless specifically stated the speed of sound in air, we are going to use 343 meters per second. So, in other words, what we are trying to say is that if they have not specifically mentioned the speed of sound in air, we are supposed to use 343 meters per second. So, in this scenario, the velocity by the observer, we are going to consider it to be 0 meters per second as the observer was stationary. So, this is what we have substituted there. Then, the frequency by the source in the equation uh, in the question is uh, we've been told that is 320 Hz, which we have substituted here. Then the speed of sound in air, we are still going to use 343 meters per second. So at this point, it is important to take note of um, the velocity by the source. So. The source was moving away from the observer. So, sorry, so um, since we, are, we want to find the frequency by the observer as it was approaching, so we will consider that the source was moving towards the observer. So if the source was moving towards the observer, the velocity by the source will be positive. So when we substitute the positive source here and when we do the simplification we are getting a negative velocity source which we have substituted here negative 40 meters per second so at this point we can do a crossing multiplication and after doing so we are getting this expression so from here we are going to divide both sides, the left hand side and the right hand side of this expression by 303 meters per second. So this is what we have done. This is what we have done in this expression. So we are getting the frequency by the observers the train was approaching to be 362.2 Hz which is here. So let's also look at um, the frequency by the observer as the train was receding. So as the train was receding, we are still going to use this formula. So we are still calculating the frequency by the observer. So the velocity of sound in air, we are still going to use 343 meters per second as we have done when calculating the frequency by the observers, the train was approaching. The, the observer was stationary, so the velocity is zero. Then the frequency by the source, we are still going to use 320 Hz, like we have substituted here. Then the velocity by the 
sound or this the velocity of sound in air we are still going to use 343 meters per second then here the the velocity of the source it is important to take note that this train now was receding or was moving away from the observer so when this source is moving away from the observer the velocity of the source becomes negative so when we substitute in this expression a negative velocity by the source or of the source when we do a simplification we are having or we are getting the velocity by the source as a positive value so at this point now we can simplify this expression and when we do that we are getting 383 meters per second multiplied by the frequency by the observer is equal to 320 hertz multiplied by 343 meters per second this is what we have written here in this expression so at this point we divide both sides with 383 meters this is what we have written in this expression so when we do that we are getting the frequency by the observer as the train was receding to be 286.5796345 hertz. This is what we have written here. So to find the overall change in frequency, we are supposed to subtract the frequency by the observer as the train was receding from the frequency by the observer as the train was approaching so this is what we have written here 362.2 minus 286.6 so the overall change we are getting to be 75.620365 hertz so this can be written in three significant figures as 75.6 hertz so this is the overall change in frequency as the train moved from approaching to receding so b what wavelength is detected by a person on the platform as the train approaches so to find the wavelength we are going to use this expression here velocity is equal to lambda multiplied by the frequency so lambda is, is representing the wavelength so when we make the wavelength the subject the formula we are getting this expression here so we substitute the velocity of sound in air 343 meters per second which is here over the frequency as the train was approaching which we calculated to be 362.24 hertz which we have substituted here when we simplify this on a calculator we are getting the wavelength to be 0 0.95 meters so this is the wavelength detected by a person on the platform as the train was approaching